Okay, now actually we were re uh, trying to go through the counseling. Someone was counseling her and, and uh, this lady here is an observer and then try to replay this. At this one point, I was trying to say uh, how to lead her, her sister to, uh, to accept the boss more. The story is like this, that actually the counselor is not supposed to be counseling this person, but her sister. Her sister has been hurt by the boss. How did the boss hurt her? How did the boss hurt her? The boss yelled at her on campus. Yell at her yeah. on campus. Yeah, and she feels very sad and bad. Okay, so your sister is a uh, teacher? Yes. In campus, is what kind of school? No, I'm asking. It's a high school? Yes. Okay, okay. So, after the experience, I heard that then your sister didn't want to uh, talk any, to the... Yeah, like any more. Did not want to talk to the talk, boss. She never wants to talk to the boss. And you know, like And then, and then you are concerned about her, right? Yeah, and she came home. She told me. Okay. To to talk to her. Okay. And then, let me ask you this, to fill in. So, have you tried to do anything to her, help your sister? Yeah, I tried to talk to her, uh, telling her that. Okay, you and your boss, you say that you and your boss, your boss did that to you. That was the question I asked, and she said yes. And I say, when you feel bad, when you're happy. Can you speak loudly? I told her that you said your boss did that to you, and she said yes. And I asked. And I said that, you said your boss did that to you. She said yes. And I said, you was Christ. And she said, very sad on campus, and I felt too bad. Then I, I told her that for oh, you and your boss, you people been together before, and you been behaving nice to you. And she said yes. And I told her that, since two people been on campus, it was the very first time it happened, and she said yes. Then later, I tried to talk to her. I said that it already happened. What do you think of doing now? And she said that I asked again. She said I don't know what to do. Then when I said that, she said I don't know what to do. Then I asked, I told her that you want to go back to your job. She said, I want to go back to my job. Because I told her so many things. What she told me about her boss, now he been nice to her on campus and things. She said she wanted to go back to her job. Then I said, you sure that you are prepared to go back? And she said, yes, she wants to go back to her boss on campus. She wants to continue her job. She just didn't want to talk to the boss, right? She was angry before and she told me when I was talking to her, she started coming down. Okay, okay, good, yes. good. Okay, so you've been trying to help her too? Yes. Now, um, now, so now you're asking for help. How you can talk to your sister more, right? Yes. Okay, so this is how I would do. Prepare, uh, pretending I'm you and you are your sister, then I will talk to you, the sister like this, um, now, these are some example possibilities. Yes. So, um, how has he treated you in the past? How has your boss treated you in the past? My boss treated me in the past very nice. Okay, can you tell me how nice he was? We were together, fun, happy. We take lunch together on campus. Sometimes when he got, when he got money, he gave me a hand. And we were fun together on campus. Oh, so he was having lunch with you, and then having good time and happy time, and even gave you some money. Now, uh, I'd like to know, uh, did he know that you are in shortage of money, therefore he gave you some money? Was, what was the reason that he gave you some money? A reason of him giving me some money because 
they can ask him for money because I will need for me to help me. Okay, okay. So now I heard that your boss actually has given you money, has been nice to you. Yes. But now you're very hurt. Mm -hmm. I, I know, you know, you don't feel good. Yes. That, that you don't want to talk to him now. Mm -hmm. You feel maybe embarrassed in front of the students, right? Yes. Feel embarrassed and feel angry. Yes. Feel unhappy and cannot forget about the experience, right? Yes. So I'm naming the feelings and then, so it will be very uh, difficult for you at this point. Yes. Now let me ask you this question that he was willing to give you money. Now, let me ask you this. Did he propose to give you money uh, when, as soon as he heard that you in need of money? No. We were on campus, like, a, someone told him something about me, and it was not true. And he, it was not true. It was not true, and he started shouting at me, talking to me in public. How I got, I got angry. No, no, no. I'm asking about the money. Yes. That in the past he gave you some money. Mm -hmm. So, did you ask for help and then he gave you some money or did he just heard that you need some money and then gave it to you? I asked for help. You asked for help? Yes. Okay. And then he gave it to you. Yes. Did he give it to you willingly? Willingly. Very quickly? Yes. Wow. Then, what does this show about him? And just a calm and friendly. Say it again. Calm and friendly man. Kind and friendly, okay? Now, I'm asking her. I'm asking her. Let her evaluate her boss. So, from the past, you see that he is kind and nice to you. And uh, do you think he has any bad intention toward you? Before, no. No, okay. Okay, so. He has been nice to you. Yes. Kind to you. Yes. And now something happened. Something happened now. Now, if you don't mind, I can, uh, is it okay for you to say what happened in that incident that he was angry? It was just about something he heard about me. And okay. it was not true. Okay. It was not true. And he didn't ask me if I was the one that said it or not. He came, he started blasting at me okay. in public. Okay. Now, do you know what that was? I mean, uh, of course, you. I mean, as, I'm asking you, do you know what was the problem that the boss was accusing of the, your sister? I don't know. You don't know, okay? And I didn't ask him because okay. I was so fast in my head with him. Okay. Now, let me. Now, pretending I'm, I'm you and then you are the sister. Do you think your boss. Hate you? No. No? Okay. So, do you think your boss, maybe he misunderstood you? He misunderstood you. He misunderstood you, okay? Yes. And then when he heard that, uh, he might have some anger, right? Yes. And then he was too fast to make a decision, right? Yes. And then without asking you, and then he yelled at you. Yes. But do you think he thought it clearly before he yelled at you? Did he think clearly? No. No. So he was in a rush mm -hmm. and then say it. Now, do you think when he said that he really want to hurt you or want to settle the business? Did he want to hurt you or did he want to just stop you from doing more wrong things? He just want to hurt me because I know that... You, you think he want to hurt you? His intention is to hurt you? Maybe he want to stop me because I think the person that told him not to tell him the right way okay. and he came, he didn't ask and he started blasting because he wanted for me to stop what he heard. Okay, so, so maybe he just wanted to take care of a business. Yes. He thought you were doing something wrong. Yes. And then he wanted to stop you. But do you think he meant to hurt you? No. No. So if he did not mean to hurt you, he just, do you think he made a mistake? He made a to, mistake. He made a mistake in public. Yes. Okay. 
Okay? And let me ask you then, because of his kindness in the past, do you think you want to find out from him um, or find a way to have these things clear? Or do you think from now on he is like your enemy? Or is there a way to clear this problem? I was angry and told to me, I want to go and ask and know what really wrong, you know, and get back to me. So you want to go to him and yes. talk to him, yes. okay? Now, but my question is, do you think he was intending to hurt you or was doing it without knowing it? He was not thinking to hurt me. He was not thinking to hurt me. He was not thinking to hurt you. So it could be just some misunderstanding, right? Yes. So could you come to him in a peaceful way and then try to say, well, there could be some misunderstanding. Can we settle this misunderstanding? Do you think you can talk to him yes. peacefully like yes. that? Yes. Okay, good. Now, he agrees, she agrees. So have you noticed what I did? Step by step, trying to lead her to understand the situation is not as bad, but I don't jump the step. I don't jump the step. I just, I don't just, I base on what she said because the boss gave her money when she heard that she needs some money. So that was a sign of kindness. So I base on that to build on, uh, 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 to continue to lead her. So have you, do you have any questions about this? What I'm doing to her? Okay. Do you have any, in the process did you, what, how did you feel in the process? How did you feel? When you say that to me? No, when, when, when I try to guide you, pretending you were your sister, uh, you, in the process, how did you feel? I feel fine. You feel fine, okay? Yes. Because I was, uh, why did you feel fine, can I ask you? I feel fine because you talked to me kind. Okay. Very nice. Yeah. You didn't just tell me why you didn't answer me or why you just quit from the just leave the job or you didn't tell me that. Okay. You talk to me kindly. Okay. And then I was leading you. Yes. Step by step. Okay. Also, yeah. Very good. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Hallelujah. So so have you Notice that this is very important in counseling. Yes. So anyone else want to share about what happened in your counseling session? Anyone want to share? Or any questions in your group? How was it? In your group, was there a lot of teaching? Or was there a lot of guiding and understanding the feelings?